everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. If I lost all of my weights, I'd be very upset. But this is a tag. I haven't lost all of my weights, but which five would I absolutely purchase right away? Yesterday, I watched my friend Monica from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle do this tag. And it's if I lost all of my makeup, which 10 products would I repurchase? And I thought, what a good idea to do it with wigs. So I'd be very upset if I lost all of my wigs. But I thought it would be fun to do with my wigs. Therefore, today I'm going to, <laughs> to do which five wigs would I repurchase? I chose them in order of if I really did lose all of my wigs, which five, what do they offer? that I would really want to have in my collection or to start off my collection. Please keep in mind that I live six months in Florida, six in Kansas. Right now I am in Kansas. I do not have all of my wigs here. Therefore, some wigs that I know that I would choose to have to repurchase right away, I don't have them here and I wanted to show you the wig so I didn't choose any of those. Let's get started. The first one that I would pick is the one that I am wearing. This is fairly new to my collection. This is Lady Latte by Beltress in the color British Milk Tea. The reason that I chose this one as one of my five is because Lady Latte has a full monofilament top. It has a lace front. It's a nice, it's a nice piece for the summer. It's low density, no permatease. I could wear it tucked behind the ears. It's just a really versatile piece. I could, you know, it, I think that it's a nice sleek bob. The only downfall to, uh, to Lady Latte, which is not really such a downside for me, I just haven't had time, is that I feel that I need to steam the front. But other than that, I think Lady Latte would definitely be one of the ones that I purchased. Let me show you Lady Latte on all sides. This one is Sky by Aesthetica in the color Chrome RT1B. I love Sky because Sky is a little shorter in the back, a little longer in the front. Kind of a trendy style, very easy to wear, traditional fibers, nice lace front. We have a left mono part. I think that Sky is just a really pretty piece, great for every day. Aesthetica has some of the best synthetic uh, fibers out there because they are so long lasting. They wear very well. You don't have to worry about clumping or fraying or anything like that. If you just like a real shake and go piece, you want something a little bit more trendy. I think that Sky is absolutely a must that I would have to repurchase. And sometimes a girl is just in the mood for some bangs. This is Rowan. This is brand new to Wig Studio One's exclusive line, the push line. Rowan is a synthetic piece. And I, I don't have the review for Rowan up on my channel yet. It will probably be up next week. But I, I absolutely love Rowan. It was sent to me for a review. I did the review for Wig Studio One, but I have been wearing it quite often. I did try Alba, and I like Alba, and this is a very similar style. The difference is that Rowan has a full double monofilament top, so you get a really nice looking illusion of scalp, which can be parted anywhere. I really, really like that. You have the bangs, if you are if you like bangs, you get that with Rowan. We have a very low density. We don't have, we have barely, if any, permatease here. A very shake and go type of piece. If you like to wear it tucked behind the ears, you can do that. If you wanna wear a low ponytail, 
you can do that as well. I think Rowan is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I, I love wearing it. I love wearing it with a headband. If I lost all of my wigs, I would definitely replace Rowan. Uh, and if I didn't mention it, this color is dark red. This is Amaretto by Belle Tress in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. I love Amaretto. I have four, and I think I have another one on the way because I just love this this way. It has beautiful, beautiful, loose, beachy waist. If you like Editor's Pick or you like um, a Vienna Roast, this one is a little bit longer than Vienna Roast. It's lower density than Editor's Pick. We don't have a lot of permatease here. Very, very minimal. It is. It does have HD fibers, but if you watch my video for how to how I care for HD fibers, I just steam it and I wrap the net around it and it's good to go. I don't have any problems whatsoever with her and I would be so sad if I lost all of my wigs. And yes, Amaretto would definitely be one that I would purchase right away. I'll show you Amaretto on all sides. And if I didn't tell you, all of the links will be listed down below. And for my number five that I would replace, it would be Well Played by Raquel Welch in Shaded Cappuccino. I purchased Well Played when it first launched, and it's probably one of the long wigs that I wear the most. I, I would, anytime we're going out to dinner, anytime I have a special occasion, whatever it is, I always um, reach out for Well Played. It is nice, no permatease. I would say it just has a medium realistic density. I don't have any problems with it being long and being uh, true to life fibers. Very easy to wear. I can wear it up. I could wear it in a ponytail. I can wear it behind my ears. I could wear a low ponytail. I think this piece, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'd be very unhappy if I lost my well play, but this is definitely one of the pieces that I would re, I would replace. Well played has a left mono part. It has a lace front and just a really nice piece. And you know, I've worn it, I've worn well played for a good eight hours, 10 hours. I've been out and I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. I carry, I always carry my wide tooth comb with me and periodically throughout the day, I comb it. I know that's a, I know that's a big issue for a lot, for, for many of you feeling that these tangle easily and they do, but if you carry a wide tooth comb with you, I don't think that you'll have any problems. And at the end of the day, I always take the HD Smooth Detangler from John Renault, and I just spray the nape. I don't spray it all over the wig, just at the nape, and I start at the bottom and to detangle the, the nape. And then I just run the comb through the rest of the wig, and I don't have any problems whatsoever. I'll have, I, I have reviews on most of these and I will leave the links down below. If I don't have a review out now, I will have one later on. And um, you could, if you're subscribed to my channel, if you've rung the bell and all of that good stuff, you'll be notified when the videos will come up. If you are a content creator and you review wigs, I would love to see what your five wigs are that you would replace. If you don't have a channel, you could leave it down in the comments. Leave what wigs would you replace? I'm sure that everybody would love to see. I know I certainly would. All right, I hope that you've all enjoyed this fun tag, which five wigs I would replace if I lost all of my wigs. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.